This is track five from my album, and here's a little hint what it's about. It's called Shoppers. For all you music lovers, and for all those who've enjoyed these videos so far, this is probably the craziest deconstruction yet. It's nearly Shoppers. That's right, it's a Shabbos song. The chorus stays the chorus, but the introduction becomes the verse. Sound strange? Follow this. It all started when I sent my very good friend Ari Goldwag in Ramat Beth Shemesh Israel this voice note. Okay, this is a concept. I really want to make it work, Ari. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it right there. Ari and I are actually very good friends, so I'm going to spare the details of that voice note. But in summary, Ari at my wedding gave a brocha to me that he will be composing a song on my next album. And from the composer of Cardi Behind I Love, I thought that he would be perfect to create a Shabbos Zemer for Shabbos. Well, obviously, a Shabbos Zemer is not going to be for the week. So we had the idea, we had the concept. Ari got to work and boy did he deliver. We received a composition back from Ari and it went something like this. But when we heard it, we loved the introduction so much, we thought, hang on a second, let's make the introduction the verse. So this is what we did. So I'm first going to play the old introduction, and it's going to follow by the new verse. And you may notice there's a slight key change, but the tune is the same. So the introduction became the verse, and the chorus stayed the chorus, so all we needed to do was make a new introduction. It's actually incredible that this happened. Such a beautiful introduction became the verse and I fell in love with it. I literally said to Ari, that's it, that's a song, let's take it away. And thereby goes the process where we start again with Jan, with the studio. We send comments, ideas and directions to Jan and he listens, he's fantastic as always. But here's something different. Something like that needs a certain type of choir and for this there was no other man than Yoili Palatsne. Yoili Palatsne. Yoili Palatsne. This guy. We love you, Yoli. I thought Freilich was a complicated surname. Yoli got it from the start. He knew exactly what I wanted, and it's a testament to him because there were hardly any revisions in the choir sections. Meaning, he hardly ever had to redo a track again and again and again. He just got it from the start. But what he did do was something very clever. Because what he'd do before he recorded any track and before he got the whole choir to sing it, he'd send me what's called a guide track, which sounded something like this. Shabbos, Shabbos, Menucho. Now, once I heard the direction he was going, and I was really satisfied that's exactly what I wanted to accomplish out of this song, I knew, Yoeli, go ahead, take it away and add those choirs. Shabbos, Shabbos, Menucho. And he did a fantastic job, and in fact it was so good, just recently, Ari Goldwag released his a cappella album featuring these beautiful choirs, sounded amazing, take a listen. <laughs> What I found magnificent was conceptualizing the project in London, growing that idea in Ramat Bet Shemesh Israel, and then producing the elements 
in America and then distributing that song worldwide. To me, this showed the amazing aspects of globalization and technology. But I think the moment that I was most thankful for was when I was doing a school's tour across the United Kingdom and my team had distributed these Yom Zer Zemira sheets for all the children to take home. Singing with the children, hearing their pure neshama sing this melodious zemer together as one in unity made me the happiest person in the world. May your Shabbos be one of Oira, of Simcha, may it be a Shabbos Manucha. This is Yomze. <laughs>